The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the November 4th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Um, geez, I've just totally <laughs> screwed up here. Um, okay, so, sorry, I was multitasking. And, and when I'm talking and trying to multitask, it really doesn't work out well, as you can see. So let's do this. Uh, it is uh, Monday, November 4th. I would love to hear from you. You can give us a call. I think the phone line's working, 877-927-6648. But if they're not working, I'm not sure about that, and uh, you still have a question, regardless, you can always send me an email. That I know is working. Send that off early. <clears throat> send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject, can you be kind enough to put radio show question? Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a marvelous, magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, we're beginning our day with a little bit of a mixed bag. The mix is coming from the Dow. The Dow's down 145 points. You'll see when we take a look at the Dow Equity Future Contract that we are in bar number nine of a well, maybe it's bar number nine, or we're completing. The Dow Equity Future Contract, we're completing a TD9 count bottom pattern today. We'll take a look at the cash indice as well out there. So that's suggesting that we should see a rally. The other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. The S&P is up six, so that's basically a flattish style market. 49 for the end, NASDAQ 121 for the Russell. That's nearly 1%. Semi's up 36 uh, bucks. That's uh, about 7 tenths percent. Trade is up 25. Gold is trading down three bucks at 27.46. Silver's down at 32. 264. That's off about four pennies. Natural gas is up. It's trading at 234. That's up um, uh, nearly four cents. 1.6 percent move. Lights recruit is up a buck 41. That's a two percent move there. And the 30-year Treasury is up uh, basically one point. Print out 117.24. Now, leading to leading uh, the, our leaders in the clubhouse at this moment, Neurogene Inc. up about 20 bucks, 43 percent. For solar, fifteen dollars and change, nearly eight percent. Sherwin Williams, Penny the Town Green, up fifteen bucks. It's four and a half percent move there. A fresh pet, up about fifteen bucks, eleven uh, percent out there. Cute commercials. A uh, model power systems up about fourteen bucks, nearly two percent. Now our leaders in the clubhouse, shakers to the downside. Constellation Energy off a little over ten percent, twenty-seven bucks there. Centris Energy off twenty-three bucks, twenty-one percent. Berkshire Hathaway, eleven bucks, two and a half percent. Knife River Corp down eleven bucks, eleven percent, and United United Health Group off nine bucks, one and six tenths percent to the downside. So, let's look at the uh, following. First, let's take a look at the equity future contracts here, the daily contracts. What I want you to notice today is going to go ahead and complete a TD nine count pattern, and there's a new profile that is attempting to form. I've got it on my black background system. I don't have it on the white background system. I don't know what that means. But it just what it does mean is that I'm using my advanced Doppler tool out here, identifies profiles uh, as they're attempting to form. But by day's end, it may disappear. But right now, we use the data that we have available to us. The real key support level is its TD9 count bottom. However, because today is the bar following bar number nine, even a poke below 41.873, that will just move the TD9 count bottom pattern lower. So you're going to have a TD9 count pattern no matter what. If we close inside the profile, uh, right now that support level of 41,966, odds would favor a move up towards its sell zone. Yes, it's a sell zone because it's a bearish structured profile. The sell zone where you'd see a lot of turbulence or could see a lot of turbulence, 42,435 up to 42,717. We take a look at the other equity future contracts out here. We get mixed messages. For example, in the ES Mini, the ES Mini is a definite profile change in trend. Could be suggested to move back to its breakout level at 54.70. In the case of the NQ, the NQ does not have a profile change in trend. That says that its A to B equals CD pattern remains in place. That price projection, 21 261.50. 
If we did get two closes below the bottom of its profile, then we'd have that profile change in trend like we do in the ES mini. That's 20, 135, 75. We're not dealing with that as we speak right now. And you take, if we take a look at the Russell 2000, Russell 2000, it's got an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. It has been below the bottom of that daily profile for about two weeks now. That would be a price target on a rally, that being 2273 to 2285. 2285 is where a counter trend move would end, should price be able to get up to that level. If we take a look at what's going on with that uh, New York Stock Exchange, the advanced client oscillator, well, we are in that over sold condition we are bouncing off that that doesn't mean the price has to close above the zero threshold level but it is working that condition off while it's working that condition off that's a bullish signal even though it's underneath that zero threshold level spot VIX is above the 50-day exponential moving average so this is suggesting that it's not like it's going to just take off and head to the moon out there all that's taking place inside that New York Stock Exchange is that oversold condition being worked off well the VIX we've taken a look at the bottom of the screen here you can take a look at the bottom left of this one you can see we're well above the 50-day exponential moving average the 50 days at 1903 we're trading at 2092 the reason and that's important is because typically what we see here no oh, that's not it that is not it hmm Okay, well, maybe it's this right here. Yeah, this is it. So it's this box here. These boxes, the green boxes, are when the spot fix is below the 50-day. The yellow box is when the spot fix is above the 50-day exponential moving average. I've got to just fill in, and maybe I'll get that done today. Forgot to even take a look at that over the weekend. Uh, that's about it, I think, that we've got on this page here that's of any real relevance right now. So let's move over, and let's do this here. We can always come back to the equity future contracts. But there are a couple things that are showing potential bottom signals out there. So let's go take a note, those two being the 30-year treasury and natural gas. So let's go take a look at natural gas. We're going to do that by changing screens here. We'll go to Stevie's white background screens. And what we're going to see now on the black background screen, what it showed us, although we're not you can see it during the uh, 11 a.m. update is it's very close to completing that one-to-one -one price projection of its a to b equals cd pattern to the downside for example the low today has been uh, two dollars and 51 cents the bottom or the a to b equals cd price projection was 247 so is that enough is that close enough stevie's going to give it a close enough but you know let's look at the charts and see what they're communicating to us number one the monthly time frame chart there's really no signals here other than price getting back to a third breakout level. Uh, but that does not necessarily mean that it has bottomed. The weekly chart last week negated its rose momentum indicator bottom pattern. So that suggests caution. Uh, we're off to a nice start today. We still don't have a bullish reversal candle as of yet. Um, but if we did get a bullish reversal candle, that would confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. The daily time frame, even if we don't have that A to B equals CD completion, what we do have is a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. So we have a, bear, a bullish uh, engulfing candle. We have a key reversal bar. We have price trying to get back inside its profile now. If we look at the 60-minute time frame chart first, you can see we are in bar number nine right now. That says that by 1 p.m. today, we should have a completed TD9 count top. And for that reason, we come back to the daily time frame chart. See, the daily time frame chart has to close about $2.84 to tell you and I that this is more than a counter trend move. Well, we should get a retracement here, and we'll talk about that when we get back from this break. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're going to take a look at uh, natural gas. The first thing we're looking at here is the uh, seasonal chart. This is a seasonal chart that goes back 33 years. The red vertical line here represents today. So you can see its pattern out here. So the one issue uh, that we have, well, you know, I don't know that price has really been this year for natural gas. Well, I know this. Natural gas hasn't been following along. Uh, this uh, cycle. But nonetheless, I still want to make you aware that we are certainly in an unfavorable seasonal cycle. Now, maybe we've got a little bottom here that forms, and typically you get a bottom that forms right around the middle of November. So, man, all right, we're close. Uh, that rallies just gets a nice little counter trend move up into November the 24th area. So that's what's going on seasonally. We can go ahead and change this and put this. Now, it's only 30, what, 33 years worth of data. So it's not like there's a lot of presidential cycles, nine presidential cycles out here. But this is the presidential seasonal cycle. And this suggests that we could get a rally uh, that begins right around this now time frame here within the next few days. So right now we've got that bottom signal. And that also suggests that we just simply have a rally that takes us in towards the end of November, November 24th, as we take a look at it here. So now let's look at the charts. Let's analyze the charts, tell you what they're communicating, at least as I see them at this moment in time. I need to try to get rid of this page here. There we go. Move this over to a different screen. Okay. So we were talking about the 60-minute time frame chart. And the 60-minute time frame chart is in bar number nine right now. Uh, so a TD nine count pattern is very likely going to go ahead and form as we come into 12 noon. And then we it will complete as we come into the one o'clock time frame. Now, I have no idea whether it's going to be the high by noon or the high at one o'clock. Um, not really going to go ahead and try to judge that granular. Uh, but uh, price could easily target the 282 level. That's a 60-minute TD9 count breakdown level. Well, speaking of TD9 count breakdown levels, the 120-minute chart right now, this bar here is going to go ahead and compose at uh, 12 noon as well. And it looks like it will close above its TD9 count breakdown resistance area, $2.72. Now, old resistance may become new support. So let's assume that the 60-minute uh, time frame chart completes a TD9 count, it takes hold, and price starts pulling back. Well, one level that I'd be watching if you're looking to try to enter a long position, may just be a short-term trade, that I don't know, would be that $2.72. At 2.715, that happens to be the top of that two-hour time frame chart. 
If you look at we're just playing it off of the 60-minute time frame chart, the TD9 count top would take us back to $2.64. Now, every time frame that we have here, not the monthly, not the weekly just yet, but every other time frame has a bottom pattern. Some of those bottom patterns are roads meant to indicator signals. Some of those are just simply buy the D point patterns. Some of those, or one of those, is a TD9 count bottom. That's coming from the five-hour time frame chart. The five-hour time frame chart right now is trading above Break the, our trade above profile resistance at two dollars and seventy three cents. That suggests we ought to make that run for two eighty two. That's its five hour TD nine count breakdown resistance level. So monitor a retracement that is likely to start anywhere between twelve noon and one p or after or one p.m. Uh, maybe I'd say 101 at least, um, you should start to see a retracement. And then uh, just monitor the intraday charts on that retracement, and that should assist you. But again, the, the number that I can assist you with here is anywhere between 271 and uh, a lower number to be about 264 on some kind of retracement. So no requests there, but I'm sure everyone is keeping an eye on uh, natural gas. So I'm going to close this chart out. It's going to take us to a chart we're not going to really take a look at. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stay here and when I stay when I stay here. What I mean by that is I'm going to go ahead and pull up the 30 year Treasury because that, too, looks like it's giving us a bottom signal. So let's investigate those charts as well. Now, in a monthly time frame, you've got a roads to indicator bottom with price consolidating with inside its profile. The level of support it might be targeting is about 115.10. 115.05 ish area. The weekly time frame chart for the 30 year treasury is a profile change in trend. We still are below profile support out there. Looks to me like it wants to go target the uh, swing point from uh, back here on April the 20th, the week of April 26th. That's anywhere between the range of 113.04 up to 115.14. However, the uh, daily time frame chart completed a TD9 count bottom pattern on Friday of last week. And that's the daily time frame chart that we're looking at. Now, that is, let me just open up the chart here. That is a bullish structured daily profile that price closed below for one, two, three, four, five. Today would be the sixth session out there. So you definitely have that profile change in trend. We have seen here, for example, on Friday, we saw a price that ranged all the way from a low of uh, 116.16 all the way up to a high of 118.25. But it's at the 118.18 level that is the center of its bullish structured daily profile where price found resistance. Well, that is the key level that the 30-year treasury must close above to suggest that this move is anything other than a counter trend move. Now, let's go look at the other intraday signals out here, see what we see. Well, first on a 30-minute time frame, the 30-year treasury has formed a road momentum indicator top. Price right now is trading below profile support, and that suggests, oh, I take that back. Price is testing profile support. Profile support is at 117.70. Well, let's make that the correct number. 117.22 is where your profile support is at. If price closes below that on a 30-minute time frame, tells us we have a further retracement indeed. And that further retracement ought to take us back to 117.21. Now, if price is able to close above, this is a two-hour time frame chart. That means at 12 noon. If price is able to close above 117.22, we will have a confirmed TD9 count pattern. Its first price target? would be 117.21. So really 117.21, 117.22, right around that area. If price closed below 117.21, then the two-hour time frame chart would suggest a further retracement, perhaps back to where things broke out, um, perhaps where things broke out last evening. No guarantee there. Uh, if we look at the... Um, so. What, what are we saying here? We're saying the daily chart has that TD9 count bottom. We've now seen a bit of a rally. We've got a couple of different topping signals. Now what we're doing is we're watching the retracement here. And so we're really watching that two-hour time frame chart. First, does it go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top? Uh, and if it does, well, that says, again, you can get a higher high on the next two-hour trading session and still maintain that pattern. But I think more likely what it would be signaling to us is a move back to at least that oscillator and change line. So you got potential bottoms here. And also watch that 30 minute time frame chart. The price holds that 117 was 117.05, 117.0, 117.22. If price holds at 117.22 level, 
that could be the end of a retracement out there. Now, what, for that, what you'd have to really do is go take a look at a 10-minute time frame chart, five-minute time frame chart, and so forth. So there's potential for a bottom, but it's also very possible that this is a counter trend mode. Well, why can't you just make up your mind, Stevie? Well, I just have to share with you exactly, you know, I don't know what the what the market is going to do or this instrument is going to do, but what we do know is that it, we also know that the center of that bullish structure daily profiles really acted as a key resistance level. So closing above that would be a big positive out there. Okay, so we've taken care of the two instruments that showed us bottoming signals out there. We have some requests to take a look at some instruments to also see if they are potentially bottoming. And the first one coming from Robert, and Robert wants to take a look at the real estate sector. He'd like to take a long position. He's sensing that maybe there's a bottom forming out there. Let's go see what the charts are saying. So we begin with the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. Oh, that is, what the heck? Oh, I know what happened. This is all the work I was doing over the weekend. All right, so Stevie's got a little bit of housekeeping to do here. We're going to a break, so I'm going to do that housekeeping. I'm going to get this in order. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the XLRE, XLV, CNVS, the SMH, copper, and anything else that you'd like. 877-927-6648 uh, or Steve at TFNN.com. We'll be right back. Wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at XLRE. That's the real estate sector of the S&P 500. Robert would like to take a long position. So, Robert, on Friday of last week, uh, price closed below the B point of an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. That B point is a trading session from October 10th. The volume there was 3.6 million shares. We closed below that on Friday. We did that with 6.1 million shares. So that's a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. The initial price projection would be in the 42 and a quarter ish area out there and as price gets down to that level should it get down to that level you would then be looking for a bullish reversal candle if you're to get that that would be the potentially that would be the place to take a long position at least the daily time frame would be giving you that signal if we look at the weekly time frame i don't have a topping pattern out here uh, what we do have is price trading below its green oscillator and change line tells us prices lost its momentum, but also trading above the top of its profile. And that's at 42.46. So you got 42.46 as a possible area of support, 42 and a quarter or so as a possible A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Boy, you'd love to see price get down there, generate a bullish reversal candle, close back above 42.46, so that that support level will have held. And then you would definitely have a uh, 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 at least a, a good logical reasons to begin that long position you're looking for. The only caution sign, well, there's a couple of them, right? Got the A to B equals CD pattern. On a monthly time frame, when October closed out, that was a confirmed sell the D point top. That is suggesting that longer term, Robert, what price wants to do is pull back towards its green oscillator and change line or the top of its profile. At the present time, that's going to range from 39.85. That number will not change, but the number that does change is 40.80. So this is suggesting lower price at this stage of the game. In fact, a second close below 43 bucks today would really add to that evidence. That $43 was the TD9 count breakout level. So let's be patient here and let's uh, be cognizant of that monthly signal that we got just a few days ago. So I hope that helps you out, Robert. You also want to look at the healthcare sector, the XLV. So let's see if we can find something there more timely for you. We take a look at the XLV. Well, it turns out that uh, last week, this confirmed a daily TD9 count bottom. You now have a new profile that uh, formed on Friday, and that gives you support at 146.70. So we're trading below Friday's low. I would say 146.70 could be an area for you to begin a long position or take a long position. At least that's what the daily time frame chart shows. Resistance to the upside, you're going to get some resistance. There's no doubt about that, should it in fact rally. The first resistance level would be its oscillator and change line. That is currently printed 148 and change. Above that is the bearish structured zone of its profile. That's between 149.39 and 149.93. Yes, I'm dyslexic, but in this instance here, not the case. Um, on a weekly time frame, the weekly time frame has a TD9 count top. Last week was bar number seven. Price is consolidating with inside its weekly profile. That's a bullish buy zone between basically where we're trading right now at 146.95. We're trading one penny below that up to 149.77. So this is the buy zone associated with a daily on a weekly basis associated with a daily TD9 count bottom. On a monthly time frame chart, well, the monthly says you have a TD9 count top and prices below its oscillator and change line and trading inside this profile. Now, this profile here is got just two levels, it looks like. Let me see here. No, it doesn't. 142.50 is support. One four, okay, where it's trading right now is 146.78. That's the center. And 148.93 is the uh, top of that profile out there. So it is a bearish structured profile. It's a monthly time frame chart. But in sense, um, it suggests that really price needs to go test support. That would be at 142.50. And if that's the case, then the daily TD9 count pattern will fail. Um, and the weekly, bar number eight this week, but that's not the low of the pattern. Maybe the best thing to do with these. So the daily time frame is giving you the buy signal. I know you're looking at it from more of a long-term standpoint. You know, that's where you're going to get the turn first. If the weekly holds that support level, that would be a bullish uh, signal for you as well. So those are the areas to watch. Um, I think you're more of a conservative 
type trader. So really watch this 146.70 because if we get a close below that, we should get back to at least test that swing point. And we've been trading with inside the swing point from October 30th for the last three trading sessions. So trading inside, that's not exactly the most bullish of messages out there. So I hope that helps you out. You're seeing all black background equity futures on the uh, on the uh, Tiger TV. Well, I'm looking at my stuff inside the den, though. You should be seeing the uh, the correct charts out there. So we'll have Alan Production try to uh, figure that out uh, for uh, for you, uh, John, and, and anybody else that is. It's live in the den, yeah. Okay, so no idea what's going on. Um, you are not showing charts you are talking about. Uh, I most certainly am. Um, let's just talk about the XLV. So inside the den, uh, my am. But I'm supposing that on Tiger TV, that's not what's coming out there. So my apology for that. Let me just make sure that Al... Let me just write him a message. It's daily uh, oscillator and change line, which is green and profile support. It's in bullish breakout mode on the daily time frame. The same can be said about the weekly time frame. Now, let me open this up and see what we're going against out here, if anything. You're just simply going against this uh, swing point from February 16th. We're trading into it. That had 35 million shares out there. Last week, we closed with uh, 1.3 million shares. So we're not going to get the volume at that swing point from February 16th. That's for sure. But this is still suggesting that it wants to trade higher. And then finally, on the monthly time frame chart, your profile resistance, this is the likely target out here, unless a bearish reversal candle were to form, would be $3.93 out there. So that was CNBS. Ron wanted to take a look at the SMHs, so let's get over to those. The SMHs right now are trading below profile support. They've been below profile support for two consecutive days. They also closed below a swing point. Now, the swing point that I'm referring to is the one from the trading day of October 16th. Volume there, 5.6 uh, million shares. We closed below it with 9.4 million shares. So when I get back from this break, I'll have that SMH A to B equals CD pattern to the downside drawn in. We'll be right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking the SMHs. They attained, as you can see, their 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. Price projection level, that was at 241.57. We're rallying. We're finding resistance at the bottom of its daily profile. If it does close above the bottom of that daily profile, that being 246.12, we should see a move up towards the center, 249.71. Now, a price close above 249.71, that's where a counter trend move would come to an end. So that's the level there. First, we watching, Ron. I know you're looking for a long position. We don't have a confirmed daily buy the D point pattern. Uh, that requires a bullish reversal candle out there. So, you know, because we're in an A to B equals CD down pattern, I would at least wait for that. The 1.272 price projection is 237 to 1. That's not shown on this screen. It's shown on another screen that I've got out there. The weekly chart. Price ran into resistance at the cent center of its bearish structured profile, up at 258.30 out there. Uh, we're trading with inside last week's bar. So no clear message there on the weekly chart. The monthly says its TD9 count top uh, may be complete. And the reason may be complete is because price has continued to find support at that green oscillator and change line. It's still trading inside its turbulent sell zone. That's between 235.43 and 259.20. Uh, five out there. So to summarize uh, the SMHs, um, I'd hold off on taking a long position as we speak right now. But if you did see a bullish reversal candle, then you would have the buy signal out there or the buy pattern is what I should say. Let's go take a look at copper for you as well. Uh, Dr. Copper, let's go see what this is doing. Give me a moment. We'll get down there. And here is our eight panel copper charts out here. Um, you're currently long copper, and copper right now is trading. If we take a look at the daily time frame out here, what you'll see, it, Ron, is that price is trading into its sell zone. So it has a bearish structured profile. That's between the level of uh, uh, four dollars and forty-one cents, all the way up to four dollars and forty-six pennies out there. So it's trading into that level. It's got a nice TD9 count bottom, which just led to a consolidation sideways. It closed about four dollars and forty-six cents. That's going to get up to four sixty. Now I don't see any reason to sell. I see that daily bottom out there and I see just a consolidation with price running into that sell zone out there. Now, is it building cause, mean moving sideways to go higher or to go lower? Well, that I do not know. 
The 30-minute time frame chart here found resistance at its TD knockout breakdown. Resistance level, that's $4.43 out there. So another area to watch. 60-minute has a TD knockout top. That would be negated with a close above $4.44 out there. So, uh, and the uh, weekly chart is running right up into resistance at a Sasson and change line. And the monthly chart is finding support at a Sasson and change line. So it's really back to the daily chart. As far as I'm concerned, you're currently long. Stay long. Uh, if you get below or close below that TD9 count bottom, that would be actually what I would say is if you were to get a close below $4.20, 4 4.274 to be exact out there, that would suggest that lower price is coming at you. So that is uh, copper. Let's go take a look at ticker symbol U-R-O-Y for Jambalai inside our Tiger's Den. Uh, give me a second. We'll try to get back to where that might be. I think it's here. It is not. Must be the next one. All right. So now we get back to U-R-O-Y. U-R-O-Y. Uh, U-R-O-Y. Out there, and this is for Jambalaya. So, Jam, right now you've got price that closed below the bottom of its daily profile on Friday. We're below that right now. You've got a profile change in trend on a daily time frame. Was that a confirmed sell the D point top out there? The answer would be no. Um, but nonetheless, we got a profile change of trend that is suggesting lower price. The swing point right now that I'd be watching would be the one from October 9th. That swing point has volume of 1.2 million shares so far today, 1.8 million shares. So we're moving to that swing point with volume. A close below 259 is going to suggest a move down to the uh, 245 level. Even if we close above 259, because we're testing that swing point with volume, we should at least be back down there. When I say back down there, that means to the high of the swing point at 259. So that's the daily time frame. The weekly time frame from uh, Uranium Royalty out here. Oh, got to close it. Scrunch it. You've got uh, price, uh, again, no topping pattern here, but we're trading with inside a profile. The next level of support for you is at about 252. 252 is the green oscillator and change line. If price test rejects that level, that's a bullish signal. If price closes below it, expect lower price. $2.26 would be its price target. Monthly chart, you can see this thing has just been trading sideways for quite a while out here. When I say quite a while, I'm going to take us back into, looks like 2022 out there. So just a sideways consolidation inside of you, R-O-Y. So Jam, hope that helped you out. If not, you let me know and I'll get you the information that you're looking for. We've got a request from Greg M. He wants to take a look at G triple R out here. So we take a look at it. He wants to add to his position. So uh, you've got a Roachman indicator top. Price trading right now into profile support. Let me just confirm that. That profile support is at 412. And at 412, you've got both the center and the bottom. That should be strong support. So right now, as we speak, you would be getting a buy signal. However, if price closed below 412 because you had both the center and the daily there, that would suggest to move back to 316. You're already in a position you're trying to add to it. So you've got, I'm assuming you're in a winning position at this stage here. So now is a time when you could certainly add to that. But again, you'd close out that new position. Or I would, if you close below 412, then you'd be looking to maybe add to your position at a different price level. What are the different price levels? Well, in the case of the weekly chart that has a TD9 count top, its first level of support is going to be its profile. That's at 398. Uh, below that, you'd be looking at 279 uh, to 270 as the price target. Nothing here on the monthly chart, so we'll move on from that. That can assist us. So possible support today at that 412 level. The actual low that we've seen for the day has been $4.12. Um, so I hope that helps you out, uh, Greg, and uh, thanks for writing in. Eddie from Boca Raton writes in. He'd like to take a look at uh, ticker symbol. NVIDIA. You just simply have a consolidation on a daily time frame after Rhodes Mintum Indicator top formed on October the 23rd. So your price range is anywhere between 135.01 at support and 141.28 as resistance. The weekly time frame chart last week confirmed a Rhodes Mintum Indicator top. The price right now remains above its weekly profile, 131.60. That says it's neutral. So you got neutral on the weekly. You've got a TD Nank out top on the uh, monthly chart. The only way that gets negated is a close above 140.76 out there. But it's just consolidating with inside that profile. So uh, that's what's going on with regard to NVIDIA, Ed. Uh, let's take a look at, um, you wanted to take a look at uh, DJT, I believe. And uh, the question is, this is Trump's uh, ETF out here. Uh, so right now, today, this is where a counter trend 
if this is if the move lower was only a counter trend move and I don't have a topping signal out there, this is today is where price would find support. That's at the price level twenty nine fifty eight. We've actually gotten down we're trading above that right now, but we've gotten down to a low twenty eight eighty eight. So it's possible that this is uh, getting ready to rally out here. Weekly time frame chart not assisting us. Uh, monthly time frame chart really trading between breakout support at 1256 and breakdown resistance at 5318. So consolidation with inside that area. We take a quick peek at a 30 minute time frame chart here for Eddie. The 30 minute time frame chart has a road's momentum indicator bottom that was confirmed at 11 o'clock this morning. Price is taking on its sell zone of that 30 minute profile. That's between 3144, it looks like. 3141 and 3178. So it closed about 3178 on DJT, which suggests a further rally is likely. Your question was, if Trump loses uh, tomorrow, will this thing move lower? You know, I don't I don't have anything really more than what I've got, what I can't share with you. If you close below 2958, the move lower is not a counter trend move. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We're going to take a look at Apple uh, and HIMS. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors.
Welcome back, folks. This will be quick. Eddie, so you've got an A to B equals CD pattern of downside in the case of Apple out there. That's going to require a bullish reversal candle for its daily time frame to confirm a Gartley buy pattern out there. The weekly time frame chart shows prices trading with inside its profile. That's got support down at 212.49. Price is testing support right now in the monthly time frame. That's its oscillator and change line at 220.30 out there. So Apple says on a daily time frame, we're looking for a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. If we take a look at HIMS for s and inside the tiger's den hymns is trading above it found support uh, it's got a road momentum indicator top it found support at the buy zone it really was at the top of the buy zone which is 1850 the buy zone is 1793 to 1850 we're trading above uh, profile resistance at 1964 should target 2152 ish a close about 2152 ish you get back to its recent highs out there um, don't see anything else really on the weekly chart to assist us you're trading above profile resistance at 2070 20 uh, 19, uh 1972 uh the center yeah, trade so uh, you trade above the profile resistance on the on the weekly time frame so that's what i see when i take a look at hymns out there let's go take a look at the next request which is now the question about now will get back to its recent highs well it will if it can close above its green oscillator and change line that is currently printed at 95408 give it a little bit of room maybe 95412 or something like that if you get it close above that then the recent highs are in play out there it's got a road momentum indicator top with price consolidating with inside its daily profile however at the moment prices trade above the top of the daily profile which is bullish out there the top of the profile is at 949.59 uh, I don't see anything holding it back from uh, moving higher on the weekly chart or the monthly time frame chart. The last request was for Brent in uh, Martinez, California. He wants to take a look at APA. The question is, is it forming a bottom? Today's going to become bar number nine only if it can close below 2331. And we're 2338. So that's the magic number for you, Brent. If we close below that, you'll have a TD9 count bottom for its daily time frame. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll see you back this afternoon with Jacob. And uh, have a uh, magnificent Monday. Uh, if I don't see you this afternoon, certainly 11 a.m. sharp tomorrow. Take care, folks, and have a safe day.